thing I wanna say, I know there's a sweet motherfucker in the crowd right now. Well, he can stay on the episode of Fuck Master, baby. Sugar Show, where the fuck you at, bitch? Before we bring out Sugar Show on Alchemy, what was the game plan coming into this fight, and what, if anything, was surprising? Henry's takedown defense, I knew it was gonna be tough, but like I said, that Olympic gold medal doesn't count for shit in the octagon. He stopped a lot of my takedowns, but persistence is gonna keep on shining, and that's what we did. Stay persistent, keep going for that takedown. I think that's where I won the fight. The striking, look at my face, look at his, and you can see who landed the harder shirts. Well, Aljamain, this is obviously a huge victory for you. Henry is a real legend, a two division champion. Now you retain your title, and you have a chance to defend your title against the man we're about to bring in here right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sugar Sean O'Malley. Bring that sweet eyes, Sugar. You better hope you look better than that. I know you got You got a whole year. You got a whole year to work here. You better ready to come. 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 You better why would you turn on the title shot? That's what I thought. So I'll drag ass up and down this octagon. I'll drag ass up and down this fucking octagon, bitch. Get the fuck out of my cage. Get this piece of shit out of my cage. Alchemy, I don't want to ruin your celebration with this because this is an awesome victory for you. So I just want to congratulate you on retaining your title. I look forward to seeing you fight Sean O'Malley next. There's uh, some words here with Barack Obama following. Wow. <laughs> Pandemonium at UFC 288. Al Jermaine Sterling. September. Wow. Al Jermaine Sterling. The crowd ain't feeling them. Ooh, I love it. Yay. As you guys just heard, Aljamain Sterling has just defeated Henry Triple C Cejudo by split decision really really competitive fight really really good fight salute to triple c though man after three years off from the sport he comes back and faces the best guy that he could absolutely face in al jermaine sterling really really good fight but al jermaine sterling man he's been running through these guys right he's been beating the, the top guys in bantamweight for a while now and i do believe he's the champion um but he's just, at times, it seemed like he just get really sloppy. It seemed like Al Jermaine just get really sloppy in there. He reminds me of a bantamweight line, John Jones. Um, but John Jones striking, um, it got better over the years. It had its lapses, right? But John Jones striking was a lot cleaner, a lot stronger, a lot better. If Al Jermaine Sterling worked on his striking, I feel like if he knew how to fight better, these fights would be a lot easier for him. He has the length, the strength. Um, everything going for him to be the reigning champion at bantamweight um, but the crowd ain't feeling out jermaine sterling and i believe um that's his region of the world right that's his region the new jersey the east coast i believe he's from new york upstate new york or something like that so they close and they was rooting for cejudo who i believe is from somewhere out west i believe right uh maybe it's the south uh, texas somewhere around there south uh southwest they was rooting for cejudo so yeah, Al Jermaine Sterling, I told him a while ago that he should go ahead and play into this heel role. When he first got the belt from Peter Yan, I told him on social media, and he liked the comment. He was like, yeah. I said, man, watch him hating. Don't let the money pile up, bro. 
play into this villain role. If they don't like you, give them more and more of a reason not to like you. And they go want to see you lose. And they go pay to come see you lose. But yeah, Al Jermaine Sterling, man. Um, if he keeps this up, though, he will go down as one of the best bantamweights. I believe he beat San Hagen. He beat Peter Yan twice. He beat uh, Triple C. I believe he beat TJ Dillashaw. D Dillashaw, correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, and whoever else he had to beat, right? I mean, yeah. So Aljamain Sterling, Aljo, he's doing his thing at bantamweight. Um, you heard what he said to Sean O'Malley. Sugar Sean, that should be a great fight. Sugar Sean is a stud. I can't wait to see that um, this upcoming September. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.